Hey everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Today we're back at the Volvo 140 excavator working for Dirt Perfect. There's a power line, runs right down the center of the road. You can see we have a few obstacles we are clearing. A new right away, putting in a new road driveway. You can see we have the obstacle with the power line I just showed you there. Several trees to take out. You get to see the exact moment Dirt Perfect lost his phone. Quite a bit of rock on this job, so it gets pretty interesting. Be sure to stay tuned. Check out that shirt he's got on, SLC Farms. Pretty dope shirt. All right, so we are, we saw us hauled the D4 in. Mike's taking the D4 up to another part of the property to work on some stuff. And we are headed down on this end. We're gonna start clearing some trees for a new driveway. We're gonna reroute this driveway. This driveway is pretty steep. We put this road in a long, 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 long time ago. So long ago that I, at the time we put it in, I was still working for Mike full time. as before I was a fireman. All right. Let me get spun around and we'll get going. So like I said, I went up there and cleaned my windshield off this morning. And uh, I got a little video. A few people asked if the top of the crab was top of the crab. No top of the cab was cracked the top of the cab is not cracked it's just the finish and a little bit of a video of it clean this top glass up a little bit we'll be clearing some trees but i had a few people ask about the top of this machine when we were trucking it the other day they said they saw what they thought were cracks but this is all it is it's just the clear coat finish on top of the machine you can see it around there most volvos are like it so there's obviously metal fiberglass uh plastic there's all kinds of stuff all over this machine the top of the cab for whatever reason is just plastic and that clear coat coming off is a known issue for volvo if you look at uh, if you ask chris let's dig on his machines his older machines his older volvos they also have that same problem so that's all it is nothing structural So, a little hole started here before I get in here. We're going to try to break these up into pretty small little piles. He said to shove everything off into the woods for now, so that's what we're going to do. I think I can get her wedged in there, maybe. It's not bad. Might as well break that off.
Oh yeah? Oh yeah. We'll break her again then. That's what we'll do. There we go. I'll just shove her up there. That'll work. I may have to come back and pop this rock up for him. I'm trying to get the bigger stuff. I have a feeling we're gonna have to come back and scrape that up. Gotta lose all this trash somewhere, but I think there's a hole up here. He said something about a hole being up here, so. So by now you've noticed the broken mirror from the in cab shots. And if you watched my teaser from last week, you were probably anticipating that. We were able to go back and watch our videos and figure out where it got broken. The best we can come up with is it in transport from the pond overflow job to this job. We kicked up a rock and it ended up going through that mirror. Got a copy, yeah, what's up? Just checking on you, I talked to Rick, he said he got you located down there. Uh, you can close for you to meet me. All we're doing pretty good, we're working across the second little ditch and I'm about, I got just uh, 50 feet of small trees left and then I gotta crawl out on the road and push a couple trees back towards the uh, hill so I don't hit that power line, but uh, we're getting along good, I don't know. Maybe a half hour, 45 minutes till I'm ready for a dozer to start buzzing around? Uh, dude, for that works pretty good. I've probably got about that much longer on this solid dirt here, and I'll take your way. Copy that, driver. We'll be coming out right through here. That big fellow will probably stay unless Mike changes his mind, but everything from here over, including, we'll go ahead and take that one down too, is gonna go. 
That gives them plenty of extra room, but we do have an extra obstacle on this end. Let me get fit through here. Don't know how well it shows up on camera, but there's the utility pole there. There's the utility pole there. If you look real close, there's a power line. Runs right down the center of the road. I think it shows up okay on camera there. Hopefully it does anyway. We're coming out right through there. And of course, everything's over on the edge of the ditch and it was chasing the sunlight and leaned out over the road. That's just the way it works. So I'm gonna come uh, clear me a little path through there, come on this side and push everything back that way. And fingers crossed we don't end up hitting the power line. We'll see how it goes. see some vines on the side of this tree so I'm gonna hop out real quick and just do a good once over and make sure I don't have anything crazy vine wise at the very top that we're gonna get snagged on and pull something silly oh yeah like that gosh dang it all right so the lines right there we're gonna swing on around all right let me get out double check the vine situation and we're gonna go I've got to uh, position myself up the hill just a little bit and that makes it a little tricky. That power line's right over the center of the gravel road. It, it, this is not what I would consider ideal by any means. It's not what I would consider the worst place we've ever been, but it's certainly not ideal. As long as I keep my boom on this side, we should be okay. I will be out road a little more than I thought. So right where we're at here, my tail is directly, actually it's past that power line quite a bit, but past that power line quite a bit, but my boom's clear and that's what matters. Glad I cleaned my glass. We're gonna take all these little fellas out first. Cause I got, I wouldn't call it a big ash tree, but it's got a, it's got a slight lean to it. Pretty heavy lean, actually. This stuff is going to break off. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. We'll just pop the stump. That looks okay. I'm going to steer it just a little bit. Steer it with the teeth, but it's small enough I can do that. Actually, I just I got on YouTube and I just watched Let's Dig 18. I got this. Well, I think that tree's a little too big to uh, hook in your teeth. Like I said, we're just gonna pop these stumps out from up there. We're just trying to get this done and get off the back. It's like that, having Mike on, on, I almost said on scene. <laughs> having Mike on scene. Having Mike on the job site, it's like having a real life YouTube commenter. All right, so this one is the one we're super duh, duper worried about. We're gonna go really high. Right in the center of the bucket. Good news is the stump's going with it. And we're going to push with the track, so I got plenty on the boom yet if I get in a sticky situation. Let's get off this road, let's get it cleaned up. Got to get this stuff shoved up the hill, pull those stumps out.
get them in a pile, and by golly, we'll be good, bud. So this is the part of the video where I tell you to be sure to get over to Dirt Perfect's page and stay tuned for his part of this video. You can see he's in the 140 right now for this portion and I've got his camera getting some shots for him, but he did quite a bit of dozing not only on this road, but also on another section of this property and it turned out to be a pretty awesome video. So be sure to stay tuned for his channel for whenever that comes out, which is typically a couple weeks or a few weeks after mine. We're going to get this culvert thrown together real quick and then I'm going to get back in the machine. And you guys are going to get to see the exact moment when Dirt Perfect's phone slides off the D4. I'm going to lightly scrape the trash off the top. And then we're going to take the dirt that is not the trash. I'm actually going to move here. And then we're going to take the dirt that's not the trash and fill over that culvert. Scoop the topsoil, whatever you want to call it. And the rest of it's going on the cold. We're gonna, we gotta do it in stages. We just have to. So this tree is tricky for a couple reasons. The, the main reason is the lean over the road. It's been chasing the sunlight in that open canopy over the road for years. You can see the size of it. So it's got pretty hard lean towards those power lines. The second reason is it's uphill of me, which means I can't quite get as high as I want to. That also means I'm gonna run out of stick and boom. So I can kind of get it in the general direction I want it to go. But once I run out of stick like I have here, it's just gonna fall wherever it wants to fall. That's why Dirt Perfect's on the other end of his camera. It's like we say, if it doesn't go good in person, at least it'll go good on YouTube. And sticking with that theory, pay real close attention to the top of the dozer, the canopy or the top of the cab, whatever you want to call it, of the dozer. I'm going to do a digital zoom so it kind of gets blurry, but it's still good enough. You can see, watch the back of the cab at the top, right there, this phone slid that, that is a bummer. We've all lost phones. Obviously, neither one of us noticed that. That's how you noticed it. You probably would have backed up, but it's backed up straight. There's still a chance it's not too well. He turned a little bit. Anyway, I ended up running over at two with the 140 because I didn't notice it. 
just a second, you'll hear the audio from the two-way radios of him telling me that he thinks he lost his phone. I didn't come all the way off down here. See if we can get it broken up a little bit, get it shoved off into, there we go. Get it shoved off into a pile and uh, shoved up in the woods. And then we'll be on to the next thing. It is always a bummer losing a phone. I'm sure everybody watching this has lost or broke a phone before, and it's always kind of that heart-sinking feeling. The good news is we did find it. It was destroyed, but he was able to get a SIM card out and put it in the phone that he uses for his drone, so he was up and running that evening. Nonetheless, it was kind of a bummer for the moment, but that didn't stop us. We still had lots of work to do. Oof. I think that'll work fine. I'm just gonna move this little hackberry up there, the one that smacks me here, and then I'm gonna go get that other hickory nut rock out. We got a little rock we're gonna pop out of here, a couple rocks we're gonna pop out. And then and we're gonna switch over to the uh, to the tree. When I said little rock. I I was wrong. I was wrong. What can I say? He just... Make sure I give him plenty of room to work this ditch over here, that's all. Random thoughts. You guys ready for another random thought? You guys watch Logger Wade, at least I'm sure a lot of you watch Logger Wade. I've always thought, now imagine if out here right now was his hot saw on the cutting hedge. You guys see that? That's his hot saw on his cutting hedge. Imagine on the back side of his hot saw if he had a cutting edge with teeth on it like that. So he could sit there and take his hot saw. I just kind of scratch stuff out of the way to make himself a little path to get places every now and often. Sometimes I watch his channel. Not sometimes, I always watch his channel. Sometimes I see him with his hot saw and I think, man, if that had a little cutting edge on the back side of it, I tell you what. But then again, I'm not a logger, so what the heck do I know about it? Not a dang thing, bud.
should be able to just roll it out of that top. There it goes. We'll go down there to that end, see if we can start getting it all broken up and shoved out of the way. Where's he at? Back there yet? We're good. Look like a pretty good sized piece, but if I get under it, I should be able to get it. What was that? is all proof I need. I, that 120 would pick it up. I guarantee you that 120 would pick this rock up. I picked up rocks bigger than that with the 120. Might get under a little bit better maybe. I put it in a spot where Mike can uh, just push it, push it. The dozer. Or I might push it with my blade, I don't know. That's sad. I get a couple more. out of there so he can run that ditch across.
all in all, a pretty good day. Mike, or Dirt Perfect, came back the next day and finished everything up with some fresh stone and finished all the other dozing he did on this job. So like I said, be sure to stay tuned to his channel to see how it all finished out. Some exciting stuff to stay tuned to our channel for. We finally got the 850 moved up for the pond project at the house. Jerry came up the other day to look at it, and he is going to help us on that project. And when I say help us, he's going to push the dam up for us. So lots of that coming up. And this week, I am meeting with the electric company. Actually, it's tomorrow to figure out where they want to run their line and put their transformer. So it won't be long, and we'll be putting electric in for temporary service for the YouTube yacht and the barn. And that is exciting. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Also, you know, a little side note, this is just a little bit of a head roller break at the top of my plate. Okay, like I said, thanks for watching.